In the silent, cold expanse of space, the James Webb Space Telescope detected a peculiar signal emanating from the direction of Betelgeuse. This was no ordinary signal. It was a distinct and unexpected anomaly that sent ripples through the scientific community. The sudden surge of data was like a sudden flash of lightning in the dark, quiet night. Betelgeuse, the ruby-red jewel adorning the constellation Orion, was whispering something. And it was a whisper that suggested a profound celestial event, a possible supernova explosion. The signal, a unique blend of wavelengths, was suggestive of immense energy transformations that typically precede a star's dramatic end. The data, a string of numbers and curves on the screens of astronomers, started painting a tantalizing picture. It hinted at internal processes within Betelgeuse, a turmoil unseen from our earthly vantage point. The star's nuclear furnace, once fueled by hydrogen fusion, seemed to be in the throes of transitioning to heavier elements, a classic herald of a star's impending demise. Simultaneously, the signal revealed a surge in neutrino emissions, elusive particles often associated with stellar explosions. These subatomic messengers, seemingly in concert with the unique electromagnetic signature, added another layer of intrigue to the unfolding cosmic drama. Yet the signal was not a clear-cut confirmation of an imminent supernova. In the world of astrophysics, each revelation often leads to more questions than answers. Could this be a new, less understood phase in the life of a red supergiant? Or was Betelgeuse about to defy current stellar evolution models with an unexpected twist to its narrative? As days turned into weeks, the signal persisted, fluctuating subtly. The potential implications of this ongoing astronomical event had scientists across the globe in a state of anticipatory excitement. Could this be the prologue to one of the most spectacular phenomena in the universe? A supernova? Time and continued observation would tell. However, one thing was clear. Betelgeuse had become an even more compelling enigma, a beacon of fascination in the celestial seas, pulling us deeper into the captivating world of cosmic exploration and discovery. The whisper of Betelgeuse had another tale to tell, one that revolved around its surface activity. The advanced instruments of the James Webb Space Telescope began to map the star's surface features with an unprecedented level of detail. The images, revealing massive hotspots and turbulent convective activity, hinted at a stellar surface in a state of constant upheaval. The hotspots, each one larger than the diameter of our Sun, were regions of intense nuclear fusion. These areas, like bubbles in a boiling pot, were significantly hotter and brighter than the surrounding surface, creating a mosaic of luminous patches across the face of Betelgeuse. The images also showed potential gas ejections, colossal plumes of stellar material being thrust into space, adding a new level of complexity to our understanding of red supergiants. The convective activity, a manifestation of heat transfer from the star's core to its surface, was equally intriguing. The scale of these convective cells was staggering, dwarfing similar structures on our sun. The upwelling of hot plasma created vast, churning waves on the star's surface, a mesmerizing dance of fiery currents that painted a picture of a star in a state of dynamic change. Yet the most startling revelation was the detection of subtle oscillations in Betelgeuse's brightness. These oscillations, similar to the vibrations of a ringing bell, held clues to the star's internal structure they hinted at complex physical processes, including mass loss mechanisms and energy production pathways, unfolding deep within the star's core. Just as the scientific community was trying to grasp the full implications of these findings, a new set of data started streaming in, hinting at even more exotic phenomena at play within Betelgeuse. The James Webb Space Telescope, undeterred by the barrage of intriguing data, pressed on to peer deeper into Betelgeuse's heart. This time, the focus was not on the star's surface, but its inner sanctum. Using its sophisticated mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, the telescope began to probe the star's internal structure and evolutionary stage, a task akin to performing a stellar echocardiogram. The collected data painted a picture of a stellar interior in turmoil. The infrared emissions betrayed evidence of a seething nuclear furnace a cauldron of high-energy reactions, 
constantly transmuting lighter elements into heavier ones. The reactions, which are the primary source of a star's energy, were detected through intricate spectral lines, the stellar equivalent of a fingerprint. The data also indicated an unexpected variation in the star's mass loss processes. The star was shedding its outer layers at an increased rate, a sign of advanced stellar evolution. This mass loss, initially thought to be a relatively steady process, was marked by episodes of heightened activity, much like hiccups in a normally steady heartbeat. But the most compelling evidence came from the star's pulsations. These rhythmic variations in brightness, driven by pressure waves traveling through the star's interior, were found to be irregular. The inconsistency in these stellar heartbeats suggested a complex interplay between the star's gravity and the pressure exerted by its hot, dense plasma. The data hinted at the possibility that Betelgeuse was closer to the end of its life than previously thought. With each pulsation, the star seemed to be inching closer to a critical threshold, a tipping point beyond which it would no longer be able to support its own weight. As the scientific community grappled with these startling revelations, new data began to flow in. This time, the data hinted at an even more tantalizing prospect, Betelgeuse's potential as a progenitor of a supernova. The red supergiant, it seemed, was not done surprising us yet. As the data streamed in, revealing more about the star's internal dynamics and evolution, a new chapter in the saga of Betelgeuse was about to unfold. As the data from the James Webb Space Telescope continued to stream in, the focus shifted to one of the most perplexing puzzles in astrophysics, the supernova progenitor conundrum. Betelgeuse, with its advanced stage of evolution and the erratic pulsations, was a prime candidate. The real question was not if, but when Betelgeuse would explode into a supernova. The star's age was estimated through intricate stellar modeling, factoring in its mass, brightness, and the abundance of various elements in its spectrum. However, these models, as sophisticated as they were, could only provide a rough estimate. Betelgeuse, it seemed, refused to be pigeonholed by our terrestrial timelines. The star's internal dynamics, studied through its pulsations and infrared emissions, suggested a volatile environment, marked by turbulence and high energy processes. As the core's hydrogen supply dwindled, heavier elements like helium, carbon, and oxygen began to fuse, releasing even more energy. This fusion process, the star's desperate struggle for survival, was a ticking time bomb. The JWST, ever vigilant, began to detect subtle shifts in the star's spectral lines. These shifts, invisible to less sophisticated instruments, were signs of a rapidly changing interior. The core's pressure and temperature were rising at an alarming rate, suggesting an impending supernova explosion. However, a surprising twist was the detection of an increase in the star's neutrino emissions. Neutrinos, elusive particles that rarely interact with matter, are produced in large quantities during a supernova explosion. This spike in neutrino emissions hinted at a core collapse, the precursor to a supernova event. As the tantalizing possibility of witnessing a supernova in our cosmic backyard became more real, a sense of anticipation gripped the scientific community. However, the star, as if aware of our watchful eyes, remained enigmatic as the telescope continued to monitor Betelgeuse a peculiar anomaly in the star's spectral lines emerged, hinting at an unexpected revelation. As the mystery of the spectral anomaly deepened, a new endeavor began. The scientific community, armed with data from the JWST, launched a concerted effort to decipher the complex puzzle that Betelgeuse had presented. The anomaly was a whisper in the cacophony of cosmic signals, a subtle yet undeniable deviation in the star's electromagnetic radiation a new hypothesis emerged. Could this be a sign of a hitherto unknown stellar phenomenon? A team of astrophysicists started constructing complex computational models, pushing the boundaries of stellar physics. The models, fed with the anomaly data, started showing unprecedented results. It seemed Betelgeuse was not just a ticking time bomb, but also a laboratory of cosmic proportions, conducting experiments that defied our understanding of stellar evolution. This new revelation sent ripples through the scientific community. It was as if Betelgeuse was rewriting the rules, adding a new chapter to the science of stars. It wasn't just about when Betelgeuse would explode, 
but what new cosmic secrets it would reveal before its inevitable end. With the JWST serving as our cosmic eye, we watched as Betelgeuse continued its celestial performance, the spectacle captivating us. This new anomaly, detected in the far infrared wavelengths, was unlike anything previously observed in a star of Betelgeuse's class. It was a ripple, a distortion in the star's spectral signature, as though space-time itself was being subtly twisted around the star. The theorists suggested a phenomenon termed stellar quantum entanglement, a concept that until now had been purely theoretical, confined to the realms of exotic star models. Stellar quantum entanglement, a product of the immense gravitational and energetic conditions within such massive stars, could lead to unique oscillations, influencing the star's energy output in ways we're just beginning to comprehend. Betelgeuse, it seemed, was not just teetering on the brink of a supernova, but also embroiled in a complex dance of quantum mechanics and gravity. If confirmed, this discovery would have profound implications. Stellar quantum entanglement could provide new insights into the stellar life cycle, the nature of supernova, and even the origins of the universe itself. It could challenge our understanding of quantum mechanics and general relativity, the two pillars of modern physics, driving a revolution in theoretical physics. As the research teams delve deeper, analyzing the Webb telescope's data with new algorithms, the initial results seemed promising. The spectral ripple, the suspected signature of quantum entanglement, was consistent across multiple observations. The community was buzzing with anticipation, the possibility of a new paradigm in stellar physics seeming increasingly likely. However, as we continued to probe the mysteries of Betelgeuse, another unexpected observation emerged. The fluctuation of Betelgeuse's magnetic field, coinciding with the hypothesized stellar quantum entanglement, raised a flurry of questions. Could the two phenomena be connected? Was the entanglement causing the magnetic fluctuation or vice versa? Or were they both symptoms of some yet undiscovered stellar process? A novel hypothesis emerged from the astrophysics community, quantum magnetic resonance, QMR. This theory proposed that under extreme conditions, quantum entanglement within the star could affect the star's magnetic field. The idea was that quantum entangled particles, despite being physically separated, could still affect each other's magnetic properties. It was a radical idea one that proposed a direct connection between quantum physics and macroscale phenomena. The implications were staggering. If QMR was real, it would not only revolutionize our understanding of stellar physics, but also have far-reaching implications for quantum physics and magnetism. It could potentially reconcile the two disparate scales of nature, the quantum and the cosmic, into a unified theory. As the astrophysicists raced to gather more data and refine their models, a new pattern emerged in the spectral data. The spatial oscillation of Betelgeuse's magnetic field led to a pioneering theory. Stellar Magnetic Wave Propagation, SMWP. This posited that the magnetic field of such a massive star could exhibit wave-like properties, similar to light or sound. Observations suggested that these magnetic waves could be propagating through the star, causing the observed spatial oscillations. This was a groundbreaking idea, combining the principles of wave mechanics with stellar physics, providing an unexpected twist to our understanding of stellar phenomena. The discovery of SMWP promises a new era in stellar astrophysics, forever changing how we perceive the magnetic landscapes of the cosmos. Thank you for joining this galactic journey as we unravel the mysteries of Betelgeuse. If you found this exploration as fascinating as we do, Please like this video and subscribe to our channel for more deep dives into the cosmos. Now for a different kind of space adventure, click on the video appearing on your screen. But before you go, here's a thought to ponder. If the stellar magnetic wave propagation theory is confirmed, how might this alter our understanding of star formation and the life cycles of other massive stars? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, keep looking up.